Hi everybody, welcome back to Rusty Gears, episode 32 with me, Sid. Uh, season 3, of course. <laughs> Always forget that bit. So, what have I been doing between episodes before we continue with today's episode? I have been, uh, well, uh, on and off busy. Um, so, I have moved, well, that's my daily carry box, and I've put my nearly broken tools in there, and I've got new tools, because I don't want to go out into the wild. But I brought almost all of my inventory down, and now I do, this is not how it's going to go. It's going to go into multiple storage areas, so, you know, we've got these three uh, things. In fact, I think, uh, down here maybe, down here, down here, got a couple more pieces of paper. So or parchment, if, we're, if we want to be uh, strictly um, accurate, so we can do that, and that will make those that a little bit more functional. So storage under the stairs, get us maybe some storage off in here, eh, maybe a table and things. Down here, I am going to have some storage. I'm going to use a trick that I've done in my single player world, which is to have them on like shelves to, scattered around, so it's not all. all you know ordered um well we'll have some storage in here so again we'll probably stack these up and then we'll we'll do something around here not entirely sure might rotate them around and move them around the door this itself will be a storeroom and not a firewood store so that's all a thing and obviously we've got this uh this space in here and ultimately we've got space off that way and space off that way to work with so lots of playing and things we can do out there um in terms of the external chiseling, still haven't done any of that, and I am currently in hyperspeed, so let me slow down. Um, but we're getting there steady. This is, you know, fairy steps all the way. Um, however, I have done a few things up at Spawnage. Um, I harvested a whole load of peaches, pears, and apples. Um, in the battery grounds, but I put them in the community storage ground. I didn't, I didn't pinch them. I didn't. I, I all right. I scrumped a few for myself, and I'm currently, uh, currently doing the this bit. So those are dried. They've got 39 days, but this uh, we're still waiting. The 49% dried. They're in my inventory drying, which is probably not the most efficient place to dry them, but it'll do. But yeah, I happened to come online and uh, I know Gran's busy down on her base to the south, uh, her incredible, and then we are going to go down there and have a little bit of a far fertile around. Maybe we can do it when she's on, you all the better. But um, this lot of trees here, all of these were ripe, uh, as well as uh, this one. I don't think this one was. No, this one was not. Um, and oh, looks like someone's actually done some planting. Excellent. I haven't done any there. I don't know whether the greenhouse is planted. It's not currently. I need to slow down a bit, otherwise, I'm going to face plant straight into something. In terms of my house, uh, it's not. I mean, we've still got the bees here for the current time being. Uh, we've still got some storage, but it's all empty. We've got all of the tools on the wall. Uh, the cellar is looking very sad for itself, and as is that cellar there. So we, you know, I'll probably dungeonify that, make it look like an old storeroom or something. Um, a few bits and pieces, tin bronze plate, wood, all of the other stuff over there. So certainly not moved out from here, and that is not going to happen anytime soon. In terms of other stuff, obviously continuing the breeding program to get the uh, Aurox. Oh, oh, we got a baby. We got a generation four baby. Cause I got a generation three mama. Um, I haven't done any goats, uh, sheep things. Because uh, what you really need to do is get them bred and when, so you know to kind of coincide when you know you're going to be on for several hours because an hour is a day uh, currently 24 hours is obviously 24 days which means that you know a day and a bit is a month and we've bred up some a few more chickens but these are all these are all fine and here I think that might be one that's 
one that's on the other side of the wall. And we have managed to recover from the uh, the, the dreaded bear disaster of whatever, I can't remember what date it was now. And uh, those are repopulated. I am going to be doing this soon. And I'm going to go with this. The suggestion was to go with this slate. This is slate. That is basalt. That is shale. Okay. This is the one that's easiest for me to get. This is the one that's meh, to get. And this one is probably easy if I know where it is. And Kshino says he knows where to get some. But I think this. But mixing in just a little bit of the rock. The same as that. So it's not just too things it's three to get that kind of shape so I am going to do that um, I'm not going to do it on camera because that would be dull as hell and uh, yeah that would be a thing so someone's left the uh, windmill grinding lots of berries pop in here and if we go in here lots of chucks with no fertilized eggies because there's no rooster and we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen i thought there might have been One egg box, egg, but, uh, nest box that had some fertilised ones in, but you know that's good. We've got a good pop, good population in there. Everything's fine. Now I have got a whole load of food on me. I do need to drop off this lot, and I probably I think this stuff will dry in a container. So uh, let's just go and drop this off somewhere, cause we. We left pears. Uh, the apples appear to it. Oh, there's apples. Uh, this has got some dry, uh, chopped carrot. Okay, not much in there. I think this is all stuff. You are sweetened. Oh, hello. <laughs> what are you? You are. I'm very tempted to... I'm going to take half a stack. I think a stack would be a little bit excessive. Um, a whole load of lychee. Someone's been uh, dropping off exotic fruit. I can't match that. Uh, yeah, let me just pop that and that in there. Drying rate is at 25%. It doesn't matter because it's going to last for a long time. So we can get that out of our inventory. I can eat you. And I've got those. I've got this. Now there's a reason why I've got all of this. We're going to have a little bit of an explore today. Um, we're going to head to the south teleporter. Because, quite frankly, we need to get somewhere. I mean, it's warm now. It's 30, you know, it's 34 degrees. You know, it's spring... If it were 34 degrees in spring in the UK, I would never go on holiday. Um, but, yeah, that's a, well, certainly not abroad anyway. Not if we could get this kind of temperature. But I like the south. Um, why is it night time here? And Chino has been busy. He started a pirate dock. We'll edit. These are pasted in with, and it doesn't always paste things in quite the right way. Anyway, it is uh, it's eight o'clock at night, so we probably if I go for a nine and a half hour sleep, and I think we've got a good bed in. You know, you're only an eight and a half hour bed. Still, you'll do. I'm the only person online, so we'll have a snooze. And Shino is working on a pirate cove down here, and I think Andy may maybe be getting involved as well. 
So uh, it'll be interesting to see where this goes, and you know, if if I want to actually get involved with it because I love pirate stuff. You know, I was born to be a pirate. I was he, uh, and I don't know why I did that stupid accent. But there you go. Um, oh, these acacia crates look nice, don't they? I might have to use some acacia crates because they are. Strip to cat, uh, debarked acacia is very pretty. Ah, uh, chiseled, it is chiseled, isn't it? Interesting. Um, yeah, so this is uh, what's been built, and there's a uh, you can tell, or you can always recognize the one that she knows built because they always end up with night, uh, night watchers over them. In fact, there was, let me just check, I'm sure it was started building, yeah, it's got a little, little something, something starting over there. Right, however, if you look at the map, there is a teleporter there. There is also a teleporter here. The question mark here is which teleporter do I want to use? I think I'm going to leave the surface one. Should I go for the surface? Oh, should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Oh, difficult choices. I think there's definitely some uh, tree farming going on over here. Just just a feeling. What you got there? K-Pok. Hi. Wow. Misty. Uh, ebony... Hmm. Question. Oh, that's ripe in about. They're not ripe. Not ripe, not ripe, not ripe. They're fresh. Or. Yeah. Pomegranates. Lots and lots of pomegranates. Mangoes. Fresh fruit for about 5.7. I don't think I've even, even, even eaten a mango. Mature lychees. I could spend hours just harvesting. If I if I stick my nose in every time I see someone's fruit trees look ripe, then I'll never get anything done. Right. Let's um. Ow. Let's let's walk because I like walking. I don't actually. Uh, there's there's a reason why uh why we invented cars. I tell you something. I bet it wasn't an exercise freak if we came up with power steering. Um, anyway, yeah, enough about it. No, hello. No, nothing down there, I don't know. This, this, this translocator. See if anybody's opened it for starters. And I must remember there are such a thing as hyenas around here. Um, so we do need to, to bear in mind that they might not be wolves, but they are, uh, they've got a sense of humour at least. More than a certain wolf anyway. So... Sure. Let us climb the stairs. Uh, and as is my want with these devices, I, I have. Uh, uh, I uh, I mark the always mark the, these with um, with the red icon if they are unlocked if they are locked I should say let me get rid of those I don't need that however we should have we need some of those oh I only need two okay Blah. don't know oh, okay I've still got it back fair enough I'll deal with that later one two three uh, warping space time should hopefully because we've got a goodly area, we're, we're a good long range down here. Let's, uh, should I? Uh, yes, I'm just going to. Just on the off chance that this thing decides to open up into a cave with lots of drifty unpleasantness. Let's just take a few blocks. Don't leave straight edges because that will annoy me. Gib. Uh, let's take a few blocks with us. What are you? You're a tool vessel. Oh, probably of no use to me whatsoever then. Okay. Right. Let's see where this goes. 
Yeah, but it definitely opened up. We are, we're not actually that deep. In granite sand. I'll have a little look around before I native silver. It's not a very thick vein though, so I don't think you're gonna get a massive of well, there's always a good chance of gold in those, but you know. I am And I'm walking by the way, so I'm not flying all the time. The angel belt, which Shino has rightly crowed over making me into a convert of. I do really like it. It it changes an awful lot of your gameplay. Um, can always also... Well, hello. Go away. Where did you come from? You came out of nowhere. Like a wild animal he was. Anyway, let us... Um, swim, swim. Um, let us just go a quick peek in... Oh, that's our transi locator. Uh, and that is that. So there's nothing out this way. So we'll, we'll plug you up. Uh, I will probably get rid of a lot of this, but it's, uh, it's a bug pet bugbear of mine. The, uh, the Ceres. So we've got it, but you know, a bit more of that, some of that, and then we can come in and clear some of this. Failed to clear that. Grab all of that and I don't think I need to worry about sand, so um, gravel falling. So what we will do is we'll mark here an open teleporter. I actually haven't. Oh, well, I've traveled. Yeah, we've come up here. Yes. That was poo, wasn't it? That really wasn't a good distance at all. Okay, but that's fine. It's open now. You need to be um, blue, I think, just so you we can identify the difference. And, yep, yeah, I'm going to fl fly up and we'll continue exploring from up here. But we haven't travelled as far as I'd like, <laughs> which is a pain. Still... It's always nice to get out and about and, and see a few things, isn't it? I'll see you at the surface. Bloody typical. I'm in the middle of the landmass and I come up under a very, very, very small lake. <laughs> First law of sod stipulates that if I don't expect to find water, I'll find water. That's hyena. I, I'm just kind of going to have a little squiz around. Something over there, look. Where am I? So I'm here. There's something there as well. There. Oh, yeah, that's uh, interesting. Right. Let's start off by just connecting up the dots back to this area here. Because we've done that, we'll uh, we'll fly through Harina Hyena territory. I really just can't be bothered fighting everything that comes across us. Uh, forage, nah, not worth it. Now, however, that might be worthwhile. Fertling that over there is another translocator, so we could use that to go further. If I'd have brought anything with me I know I don't know whether Andy actually found these useful or not so but we'll, we'll grab these because I 
I've only seen them once or twice before. And uh, might as well have that. Dang it, there's a grave over there as well, look. Probably, probably a victim of them hyenas. Do 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 do. And luckily I have, oh hang on, let me uh, get Mr. Loot Box out. And then we can put that and that, and I will stick everything in. <laughs> Keep the stuff that's not loot, obviously. That can go in, uh, not the dirt, and for that matter, not the granite stone. Uh, maybe not that, but, but yeah, okay. Everything except the things that I don't want. So yeah, um, if I if I were to go and use that translocator to go back and then go home from the ship, I could quite easily grab another set of temporal gears because I got plenty, um, and we could open up another one, but. I don't think we need to right now, do we? It's, there's plenty, plenty to keep us busy out here. And of course, you know, I might end up with a nice full loot box after one episode, which would be uh, ideal. Best, best kind of loot box is a full loot box. Especially when you can do that. Don't want that though. And um, we'll grab you and let's go and have a look at this uh, quick peek at who was unfortunate enough to, over here. Now, one thing I know Candy is looking for is red peppers. I'm not a hundred percent sure that they're implemented because I have really looked very hard for them. I mean, I I have. I have flown all over the southern lands, and apparently they are a, a southern um, thing. You know, if you're going to find them, it's going to be somewhere southy. Bang, zap, save. Yeah, wallpaper. We'll take it. Uh, I will destroy. That just so nobody gets excited and thinks if uh, well, I suppose we should just loot. Come on, good grief, man! Right. So the question is where to go from here. I'm going to just, as I say, I'm just going to poke this way just to connect up the dots, and uh, well, I'll be back in a second. All right. I literally, I just. Did my usual, threw myself down a cave, and look what we found, a thing. I don't think it's a particularly, you know, it's not a particularly good thing, but going on up there all right that's um it's not one of the better ruins i mean i've found these over and over it's it's just you know it's just a ruin uh but it's more than i had <laughs> so i'm taking it oh and that actually is it not a bad return? That's part of a return on the investment, isn't it? So, usual. I don't really need many more of these because I've got loads of them. But, never let it be said that I don't. Oh, 
Why did that just turn into a rare gold necklace? Oh, because I put it on, okay. Um, I was going to say I'm a wizard or something. Magic in stuff. Anyway, I'm not a wizard or even stuff. Uh, we will pop that away for now because that could do with the space. Uh, right, let's let's quickly. Oh, do I really? I suppose I should. It's just. Love me some dross, and I wish I could pick these up. I really do. They, they're one of the best looking bits in here. I don't. Uh, I suppose I sh should try. Uh, what have we got then? Uh, oh, another thingy. We got some more parts. Another store and a pair of boots. Mama, we've hit the big time. And. A large seed. These are always the same. Uh, I don't want that. Definitely the carpet. The carpet is probably one of the best bits. <laughs> I know that's saying something when you're kind of looking at this. Right, anything else? Uh, that's good. There is one other thing I want. Right. Searched. Oh, hang on. Uh, map. I suppose I should mark it as a red ruin to say I've done it. Ditch. Oh, I wanted that, didn't I? I uh, don't want you. Right. Yeah, so sometimes just throwing yourself down random holes is um, is productive, and other times not so much. And I think I was heading up this way. Yeah, in terms of resources, we are pretty well off. So things like you know, poor copper and granite, I'm not even going to bother marking it because I don't need it. I really do need to slow down on occasion. But then, sometimes, you find this, which is again, not, is not a ruin that we don't know. We have seen this before. But I'll take it, you know what I mean? Free ruin. So, another ruin to loot. Hmm. And we've barely even started. There are occasions where I wonder whether the better ruins mod is a little generous with the ruins. However, I also have to remember that this is a multiplayer server uh, and if we had only a limited number of ruins we'd soon clear them all uh, and you know nobody really wants that we want uh, this to be fun for everybody so having a ha I'm not sure what the density whether the, whether there even is an increased density of ruins on these but um, they definitely seem more common than I would have thought. Poo, we didn't get any of that. Uh, what about you? Yes, got it, got it, got it. I like me bones. Uh, we'll have our big old table on like that. How many copper and I are? Do I? I suppose I should. Is there anything I don't want out of that lot? I don't want you. don't want you. Uh, 
I mean, the ruins I actually do like to collect because they're they're quite interesting. Just pieces of paraphernalia, but they do get in the way. Of uh, more chains, and of course we we know about that one because we always get those. Still, I found the ruins. It's my duty to loot the ruins. That's how it works. That's the rules. Is there anything I don't want out of this lot that's cluttering up? I mean, I could get rid of that. Get rid of the flints. Everything else I want to keep. Even the rubbishy rubbish I want to keep. Um, Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We can... When push comes to shove, I can always just mark it and come back. Definitely have you. Bit of pipe segment, yeah. You know, there's always good stuff. Like, I'll have that. Have those. Food. Crates. We just mark, well, I think we just mark this as a, uh, as a location, tunnels to the surface and have done with because otherwise we just leave some of this rubbish rubbish behind I'm just going to not have any space for carrying that's probably probably the right solution so we'll go straight up from here uh, mark this as a ruin and have done with and it's green ruin because we haven't done it yet will we come back maybe no desperate rushes the it's not a massive ruin it's certainly not anything that's got anything that we really desperately want i probably hello we probably need to again this is oh and it's night time as well just for good measure so we just got to there we teleported out here there's another teleporter we haven't been to see that trader let's head over that way i'll see you there all right well i've had a little buzz around the area um other than those ruins i didn't really find much over here this is a nice tropical area so probably it's worthy of some investigation and like that down there there is a room in there which is full of locusts it's one one i've seen before nothing exciting there there was a round about here ish there was a couple of rubies but they were really again nothing to write home about um just small low scale low key ruins so the the plan, because we have a light temporal storm incoming, is to head back to the ship. Bonk. And from the ship we shall take... A quick transit, oh, uh, ripe in about 30 days. So, again, well, definitely interesting. I love the idea of a little pirate coat down here. Um, and, and then we shall go and weather the temporal storm in our storm shelter, which I, I tried. So, there was a suggestion. Need to go and uh, 
put some stuff away while we're waiting. In fact, let me just go and show you because there was a suggestion to put spikes in. So I did. They're actually worse. <laughs> Believe it or not, they are actually worse than if there were no spikes. I need a, a quick... Uh, I've got dirt. So I'm going to take those out before we do that. The the drifters were too low, so they didn't... They, were, they took damage from the spikes. Not a huge amount, because they're only spikes. Um, so, yeah, I think... I mean, what I could do is try... that see see if that works it may not worst case scenario it doesn't you know when we're we're no worse off or better off with that so yeah that was a uh, it was a little bit disappointing that, that translocator didn't take us very far um away from where we'd already explored but such is life i suppose on that one you can't have everything but um, I'm going to quickly sort my stuff and uh, hello, I'll be back in a second. All right, let's try this out. It should be a light one, so that should be fairly manageable. Um, with a bit of luck, I might manage to get a few more temporal gears and make up the three that I spent. Although it's not difficult to make temporal gears right now. So let's see how this works. I know this bit works so far. I've not had any problems and I'm tempting fate because but so far none of these are counted as air spaces for anything to spawn in. <coughs> which uh, which is the aim of course. Now we just need to wait to see who wants to come along and play. Oh wow, chickens sound weird in a temporal storm. Uh, hello? I can hear you. Where are you, sir? Come on. Come and try the spikes of death. That one. That one has me concerned. If he crawls through, yeah. they don't. They don't flow through, which means I have to do them like this. It's not a major problem, actually. Is that a problem? I don't know. It is when they do that. When when another one comes, of course. Now, that was uncalled for. Actually, to be fair, that was my fault, got too close. It's not too bad, actually. Don't really even need those doors, except I think if the doors are there, they think they can get to me. So, yeah. Okay, we'll continue trying this out, and I'll be back in a moment. All right, well, apart from throwing my knife away, <laughs> having to jump down there, and, I, and now I'm trapped. Um, we came out of that reasonably okay. Uh, that, that worked well. I think this will get me away from uh, that particular trapped set up so yeah that wasn't too bad uh so between uh, what did i got i got one from a drifter in the ruins i got one there i've got several from my sifting operation which is running up here so yeah breaking even it's all good isn't it um, we'll just drop these off here for now 
because I don't really need to be carrying them around and that can go in there. So, as a, those spikes actually do seem to help. I don't think they are the answer, you know, the answer to everything. But they, uh, they definitely help. So, let me check how long I've been recording and uh, I'll be back in a second. Yep, so that was probably about time for this episode. Next episode... Next episode, I think I'm going to try and work on a little bit of this infrastructure using that slate. I'll, I'll harvest some slate between episodes. Um, I do need to have a word with Kendi as well, because I'd, I'd like to... I just Kendi is doing some work off down about 20,000 blocks south of us, uh, of spawn. So, yeah, good, good a distance out, doing a really nice build. Um is well known on the server for chiseling capabilities. If you haven't seen a Candy 64 on YouTube, well worth a check out. Um, and doesn't, I think, get up this way very often. So I'm going to ask if she would mind if I finished off the light, the um, the windmill there. I'd like to gear it up a little bit, make it into a big grinding operation with hoppers and all of the the good things. This is fine, but I think it'd be nice to actually have that that just finished up the facade and everything. Um, may twiddle it around a bit if if she's okay with that, but um, we'll see. I, I, I don't like mucking around with other people's builds um, unless I've asked them first, you know, be polite. But uh, And we'll also try and get my storeroom sorted out and start to think about start to th oh the service yeah okay um start to think about the lumberyard maybe or the uh, forge and i'm i mean oh it's thunder okay um i was like what on earth was that yeah so that's the thing one thing i would like to do and i do need to have a look at how to do this is as part of these things i'd like to put up some little little market stalls where people can set up a little trade so if just selling one thing so in much the same way that um shino's done down here with his um with his it's just you know it's gonna probably gonna be slightly quicker if i fly with his thingy here this so this this is his um shop crate it's the only thing there at the moment now ultimately his shop's going to be in here and this is his shop register which controls the shop i don't own it so i can't do anything with it um which is fine um but then in there you can buy a, some resin for a, one liter for a gear or you could buy four shafts for some bit of fat or some mortar for 50 copper or some uh, angled gears I think they are for fat now those could be on a market stall you could have little market stalls just dotted around up off the road and around the area where you could have like pop-up shops where you know if somebody's done a lot of honey for example they could flog some honey or they could flog um planters or you know whatever you name it it could be flogged so the issue is is there isn't as such if we have a look at wool there isn't a wool block okay uh, if we have a look at um fabric for example no now there is a leather block but it's not craftable it's a um, well it's not even listed but I don't think the leather block is a creative only item used in the hoofer hoofers but if we have a look at clay That is, apart from tiles, 
hardened clay. The, and you can get different colours of hardened clay. So the question is, how do you make... So if I want, say, purple hardened clay, I... I do what? Bakes in the oven. Cut that in half. So you bake purple clay. Purple clay is made with powdered hematite, powdered ultramarine, and some clay to make eight, or red clay and blue clay. So all of these things we could do those. And if we have a look back at the um, other clays, if we can get back to where I was. You know, there's white light, I should say. Um, blue, grey, brown, red, black, blue, dark greys. You name it. So we could end up with that kind of striped awning that is stereotypical for these things by using coloured clay. So we should be able to do that. I think I've probably got hematite. Um, I know I've got ultramarine because that's um, lapis. So, yeah, we could certainly do that, make a few little markety stalls as well, possibly. Yeah, I've got a fair bit of lapis. Um, but until next time, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.